Since Queen Elizabeth's death on September the 8th, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been mingling with the royal family. However, there's one person who is less than pleased with the duo being back, Queen Consort Camilla. Camilla is most disappointed by Meghan's actions and does not believe she can trust her or Harry. Camilla is distressed that at this profound moment of sadness, she cannot properly mourn the death of Queen Elizabeth II without the sideshow of Harry and Meghan and what impact it is having on her husband, King Charles III. She's very worried about the enormous stress placed on Charles by the Sussexes. The Queen Consort is also very concerned that anything that is said or done in the privacy of the family could become publicised, the source said. Does Queen Camilla really hate Meghan Markle? Soon, a new biography titled Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, From Outcast to Future Queen Consort, reveals everything. The author, Angela Levin, uncovers Camilla's rocky journey to be accepted by the royal family. Most of all, Levin tells the story of how Camilla has changed from a fun-loving young woman to one of the senior royal's hardest workers. This is not the only upcoming book that claims to spill royal secrets. The impending memoir from Prince Harry will also likely reveal numerous information about Camilla that the royal family should be concerned about. The source continued, Understandably, he found those early years incredibly difficult, and he might publicly blame Camilla for much of what he believes went wrong in his childhood, and the trauma the whole situation caused. According to a royal insider, Harry is fiercely loyal and protective of his late mother and her legacy. Some royal fans and experts are raising questions whether Harry and Meghan would respect the former monarch's sincere wish she made in her life for Camilla to be known as Queen when Charles takes to the throne. Harry appeared to have extended an olive branch to his father King Charles in his touching tribute to the late Queen, saying, We now honour my father in his new role as King Charles III. Camilla's biography could potentially make things even more awkward between her and her stepson-in-law, as a biographer really dislikes Harry's wife Meghan Markle. An image of one of Angela Levin's tweets that reads, Is Harry going to show his comic side by copying Meghan and show he too can eat like a chimp and drink from a baby's bottle? Any playfulness and cracking jokes is hardly compatible when promoting a memoir that rumours say will attack his family. Meanwhile, the red-headed royal's brood has been walking on eggshells around him, especially since his book is supposed to be released later this year. It sounds like King Charles is doing everything in his power to get Harry to scrap scandalous parts from the tome. Once the dust settles, you can bet that Prince Harry will be summoned to speak to the King. There's no circumstance in the world where the King will not address the book before it's published. He has no obligation to protect the crown. He will beg Harry not to release the book. The bigger question is whether or not he'll be able to persuade Harry to cancel it at whatever cost, another insider said. King Charles III recently sparked concerns among royal fans. Are they noticed him wobbling during Queen Elizabeth's procession, following Her Majesty's death, her eldest son walked behind the Queen's coffin for approximately 40 minutes straight. A video of King Charles III struggling to keep his balance went viral this week. The clip shows him moving forwards and backwards and struggling to keep himself still while standing in attention behind the Queen's coffin. Since King Charles III is already in his 70s, some royal fans are convinced he should have been exempted from walking behind the Queen's coffin. However, the monarch must have wanted to pay his final respects to his late mother the traditional way.